Hello, this is Jeff. And this is the story about a man named Stanley. Oh, God. So we're... Oh, wait, 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 no. First, first you gotta do something. Okay. We're... Go to options. Yes. Okay, no, no, you gotta pick one of those. Uh, hard. Okay. <laughs> I want... You I want, want the my... true experience. The true experience. Okay, so this is a game that may seem familiar to some of you, but also, um, it's not. <laughs> this is the apparently... Well, you should... You can tell it. If you... No, go ahead. This is the original, because this person has some... This is the story of a man. Oh, good. Sub subtitles are on. I forgot to. Stanley worked for a company in a big building. Yeah. Where he was employee number four two seven. I. Th employee number four two seven's job was simple. Yeah. He sat at his desk in so, I think he pushed buttons and I might have given the impression that came to him through a monitor next to I hate the Stanley Parable, and I don't. Them, and I actually really like the Stanley Parable. Employee four two seven did. I just. I have issues with the finished game. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished he... every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this. So yeah, it was just a, so yeah, it just started off as a half. So it was just a Half Life Two mod that came out in two thousand and eleven. Yeah. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would. Yeah. So did you have anything else to say? Yeah, in a second. They're, 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 they're talking to us. It's fine. There are subtitles. And you know how this goes. Right, but I don't know how it goes. Alright. Fine. We have to watch the compelling story together. This complete isolation. Something Sorry. Okay, look. We can talk over it. That's the whole point of this. Go ahead. Oh, fine. There are subtitles. I mean, so the relevant thing is, is that this was very interesting to set up. Um, so what you do? From his desk and walked out into the hallway. All right. Now that he's done talking, can you check and make sure we're recording? God, this is definitely a source mod. You can just tell by looking. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah, we're making sounds. It's making sounds. Everyone is making sounds. Well, except the audience. The audience is not capable of making sounds because we haven't invented time travel um, yet. Growth mindset. Also, that mirror does not work. That does not. <gasps> Maybe it's to indicate you're not real. Stanley decided to go to the start line. Okay, so setting this up was kind of interesting. Um, he functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered right. the door on his left. So this is the first choice. Oh, okay. You're, you're, so you're... the thing So the thing with the Stanley parable is when I when I started playing I played this when I was a teenager. See, I was at my dad's computer, and I had discovered, and like through some Googling. He was horrified to find not a single. Wow, this is a very shitty lounge. I mean, yeah, I've. Yeah, I've seen. I've been at lounges like this. Oh, yeah, you have, haven't you? Been? Yeah, uh, you should be grateful when there is a lounge. Usually it's just like there is a microwave somewhere. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So when I start, so yeah, I played this when I was a teenager, and up until that point, I think one of the few, one of the only games that I played that had like actual choices was uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. And you might notice that like the choices in that game are a very deliberate thing, right? You know, you have like, you know, either you have Eggman telling you to bl blow up all the things, or you have Vector telling you. Go to the computer room! You know? Like, when the choice was present... Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by, by the, the soothing narrator voice. To be fair. A combination that only he could possibly know. The number freshman dorm number in college. One, nine, five, seven. But of course, yet incredibly... By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> correct code by sheer luck. Amazingly, Stanley ventured forth yeah. into the newly as he drew deeper into the bowels of the oh. Stanley had no idea where he was or what this place held. Okay. And just as he began to think he might not discover it, the completed thing has like a much greater sense of timing, I think. Yeah, this is a mod that people. So made. any so, okay, yeah. look. If you're not going to listen to me, I'm going to stay in this hallway forever. 
No, 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 you've taken away the choices. How will we play a game without choices? Yeah, Jeff. So you this play this old... you played this game in, 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 in yeah. when you were a teenager. Yeah, because I it's like Half Life mods. Those are free. Yeah, look at the rows of monitors. Okay. Okay, Jeff, just ignore the narrator and listen to me. Okay, I have now taken out the earbuds. Um, this should help. Okay. So, so, uh, playing, so yeah, like, I didn't really have, you know, I only had, like, either the games that, you know, your parents bought you, or I had, you know, free games, like, and, which is why I spent a lot of times on, like, Newgrounds playing Flash games. Yep, this was my childhood as well. Yeah, so, so when I discovered Half-Life mods, I was thrilled. God, this is... So, all of these things are just from Half-Life. They're not yeah. original models. It's so weird. That's why this clown sucks so much. But that's that's concerning. I can still read the subtitles even if I can't hear them. I can just read it much faster so I can listen to it. What were you saying? So, you played games. Yeah. Yeah. So, one of those was the Stanley Parable. And when I started playing this game, I did everything the narrator said. Because why wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Like... Based on how, like, games had been, like, choices had been present, like, in, you know, in Telltale games, like, in Telltale games, they just, like, whenever there's a choice, they get they just, like, this is a choice now, and then they put, like, the two options or three options or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, my only exposure to, like, choices in games was, like, that. So... So when I was presented with those two doors and the narrator tell me to go on the door on the left, I just did it. And I didn't think about it at all. Like, why would it? I was like, huh, okay. It's like, Stanley went through the door on the left. And it's like, oh, okay. And then I did it. And I just basically just did every... Like, this was... Like, the first ending that I got was the one where you do everything the narrator tells you. Which is... Yeah, it's the first one I did when I played the Stanley Parable also. Also, side note, I wait, feel like... Wait, wait. Okay. This version of the mind control machine is a whole lot better than the one in the original because it's poking a subtle joke about um, um, poking a subtle joke about like these characters are doing the things only because that's how they're programmed and such. Whereas the other mind control machine was much less of a commentary about. So this is the mind control machine. He's not saying anything. Okay. I mean, yeah. Why was like? Why did you do that one first? Cause it was fine. That was the sensible of uh, what's happening. Move your move your face. Oh, wait, it's just dark. Power gone. Yep. All alone. And well, that's horrifying. Yeah. As he stepped. So this whole game is so this whole game is obviously like a commentary on like agency in games. Yes. Right? So it's he had seen power. He had seen enslavement. Yeah. And in here you do everything the narrator tells you and then it's like everything was in control now. And then he, and then the ending is kind of ironic because the plot that the the plot that the narrator is telling you is and then and then Stanley disabled the mind control machine and forever. At this point as at this point I like ask myself, "Huh, what if I just don't listen to him?" It was a delight. <clears throat> Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. I guess I see. I don't know. I like I like, like this version slightly better. What the mod version? Yeah. Well, okay then. The the mod only has. Only like obviously, has... the other one is more polished by a yeah. lot. Yeah. Stanley decides for himself. There are a lot. Of, there are things about there are things about the um about the remake that I like. Uh, the um. The demo is genius. The demo is great. Like, more ga like more games should do that, I think. Just have a demo that's an entirely different game? Yeah. Sure. Like, I don't know. Like, the demo is both a completely different game and totally representative of the experience. Yeah. And it saves you from, like, you know, spoilers or whatever. And it's just... It's... Like, it's a good... Like, it's good. Yeah. It's it's good that it's like that. Okay, so do we have to... Are we going to watch the... No, we're going to start a new game. Okay. 
Okay. We're skipping the intro. Let's... I do like how the, the mod deals with that. Wait, does the original make you... Like this, is, or not the mod, the original, how the, the, the new, newly created one deals with that. It's just like, it has better restarts. Uh. And you restart slightly differently sometimes. When Stanley came to a hmm. Okay, so are you, are you doing yeah. depth first search or doing depth first search? I think I'm, you? I'm... You're gonna take... Breath? No, this is depth first search. Oh, uh, yeah, depth first. Stanley I mean, I guess breath for search. What doesn't really make sense. I know, sense like I, I, I think, like I know what. Like I'm you're, you're going to going to go all the way to the end point and then turn the red one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in any case, you go up the stairs here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. What was it? One nine five seven. Uh, thereabouts. Hold on. No, that's down. Yeah, I know. Uh, where? Okay. Never mind. I was gonna like quick save to save me some time, but it doesn't no, matter. No, don't do that. And you don't get the full experience. The full Stanley the Parable experience, anyway. Manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to this yet incredibly. Okay, keep going. What were you saying? Um. So yeah. Oh, I was gonna say things about how I set this up. Yeah. So it turns out what you do is you um download a source mod, like you download the mod and you unpack it into a folder in Steam, and then you quit out of Steam and you you reopen Steam. <laughs> Um, and then it installs like the base source thing because I've never installed the source mod before. Yeah. And then it launches the game. But the thing I wanted to mention um, is like, you know that thing that happens when you launch a game and it's in like four by three resolution and like a really tiny four by three resolution, yep. and then you fix the resolution and everything is crisp and clear and glorious. It's just such a good feeling. Yep, you understand. It just it's such a sense of relief. It's like, oh, thank God! It's like in a decent resolution. I know what these things are. As if in answer to his question, the wall slid open before him. Right. The yeah. So now you, now you climb the ladder. Well, I gotta wait for the narrator An to do his bit control. before I. Uh... You can actually die of fall damage Not in this game. In like over here, there's like a place where you can uh, slip off of a ladder and just, uh, just fucking die. Levers and knobs controlled. There's another glitch that I'll point out later, but uh okay. wait, you can't climb the ladder yet? I mean I guess not. Monitored not the functions of a machine. Anyway, yeah. The So go look at the machines then. There was another Half Life mod that I played, but I forgot what it is. I remember enjoying it. God. Half Life two is just it's a good game. It is a good game. The whole thing series is a good series. It's a good series. I like it. Yeah. Half that a machine had altered I I don't know. Maybe I resent Half Life a little. Like I like Half Life, even if I might resent it a little bit because, like, I don't know. It a bunch it of people was tried the, to emulate it. I mean, it was the start of linear of like quote unquote realistic linear games. You know? Yeah. Like. And knowing that this generator was all wow, he does not. Eh, it's fine. Yeah, this is why I wanted to make quick again, saves. I mean, it's fine. The rest you can just walk straight through. Yeah. Ups yeah. and ups. The closer he fell to freedom. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Agency in like it Agency in games is a weird thing because to an extent that's the whole point like This is it. This is the interactive medium Yeah, and it's hard to make a game that is fully like oh god. I can't wait. You know mess. So no you want the other one Not the the green one not the red one. I just remember. Yeah, what were you saying? Um, Mass Effect Oh, Stanley. You didn't okay. just activate the controls, did you? After it kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, you could have died there, control? maybe. Control? Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Ow. You were meant to let it go, turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you have. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized 
that he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Why are the buttons In the event different? that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Oh, let's make it say, um, two minutes. Right. Wow. I actually, I like this. A little more fun, isn't it? I like the sun thing quite a lot. Go ahead. Play with those controls all you like. The real controls are where I'm sitting. Did you really ever believe you held any power? Did you not think I knew? Yeah. So. When I erased your co-workers and turned off the. Right, game, right, okay. I was offering you freedom. An escape. I didn't have to do that. I got this story many times. And I this, is from, this is from Half-Life 2? I forget. This mod? Yeah, it's from... No, 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 no. No, this the music. The models? Oh, I don't know where the music is from. And then dying alone. I'm confused about these button models. They don't look familiar. They do not. Your own actions? It's not enough. Like, I let you go? the assets you are different, I think. The same. But in any case, yeah. You just weren't made to handle this sort of responsibility, I'm afraid. But you know what you were made to Yeah. So when I first played this... Okay. You get it now? Now oh, I'm enjoying this. Tell you what, I'll throw some extra time on the clock just because I'm having so much fun. Yeah, so then... There we go. You see, I want to watch you for every long second you try to puzzle this out. After all, it should make sense, right? The timer, the nuclear detonation, the mysterious facility, it's all here. This is a video game. Except for one thing, my hero. You've got no weapon, no vehicle. You yeah. don't even know where you're going. This functions that timer. This you functions instinctively started trying to really well. Didn't you? In since, fact, since the fact for a way out. I mean, I was the first time I played this. I'm not going to lie. Open doors or vents or something and solve the puzzle. As though this game has a solution. As though it can be won. That timer is not a catalyst to keep things moving along. When I first played this game, it was like, oh, this is a Half-Life 2 mod. And it works really well because Half-Life 2 is a very specific way. It's linear. You're going to do the things. You're going to do the things. You're going to, like, get your weapons and kill the bad guys and... And the game, like, basically bends over backwards to, like, accommodate you running through its world. And so... So, yeah. I w so, yeah. The first, so, the first time I went through this ending, this texture, this texture. The first time I went through this, yeah, this was basically what had happened. I had hammered... I had, like, frantically tried to look for a way out, and there was nothing... And there was, like, nothing to do. Yep. You won't be alone. Did you? Did I what? Look for a. Yeah, I played with the buttons. From the time we fade in until the moment I say happily ever after. Right. In any well, case, that's that. Now we try again, and this time we go down the stairs. Down the stairs. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley decided to go to the stairs. Yep. Lounge to check on his co -work. He never functioned well by himself, and constantly needed support and guidance from others. Okay. But you said there's only six endings in this one. Yeah, there are only six endings. So he takes the door on his left, mm -hmm. then he gets stuck in the employee yeah, the, lounge for a couple of minutes. Yeah, the fact, like, ha making, just like having all the familiar Half-Life 2 assets make this, makes this, you know. Much it, easier to make. Also well, it's also, so also, it kind, also it like, it kind of like helps so the thing with the stanley parable the game the video game like the whole game is that like this game it is nothing but subversive twists all the way down and that is very difficult to and that is very difficult to like but stanley sustain do it. He all the way uh all the way down boss. You know, all the way that he had left his post during work <sighs> <might be> <clears throat> such a competitive economy was it really worth taking that risk chess who's winning believed everyone had disappeared. um his there's a pawn where a pawn should not be it's sideways chess wait where thought to himself maybe where 
Um, Everyone I know simply vanishing out of the blue. Oh wait, they did the um explanation for it. The 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 the, 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 the chess maneuver. began to creep up in his mind. Questions that had ah! been long, he just hadn't put his finger on. Yeah, here you go. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these and rooms here the Stanley Parable gets differently meta. Was he just walking around in circles? You are, in fact, walking around in circles. And the more he found himself unable to answer these questions, the more questions continued to arise. Yeah. Until he came to the issue that had been slowly balling, until he could ignore it no longer. Balling? Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Suddenly. Yep. Every door slammed shut. No, Stanley screamed. I need to get out of here. I need to know that there's something else. No, not the most. I need to know it's not just all in my head. And he screamed and clutched at his skull as the voice grew harsher and the music in the background rose higher and higher. And then, moments before collapsing to the ground, Stanley clenched his fists and screamed to anyone who might be listening, I'm not real. I'm not real. Don't believe any of it. None of it's real. And then everything went black. Well, that was dark. <laughs> yep. Literally, because it's book. What? Named Mariella. What? Oh. Was this not in the game? It was. I just forgot. Oh, yeah. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She got dressed, went to work, clocked in. Clocked Look at you. Finished. Posed like a horrible rag doll. But her walk on this day was interrupted by the body of a man. Who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Dark. Moments after seeing him, she would turn, run to the nearest police station, and call for an ambulance. But for just a few brief there, seconds, there is there is a webcomic. The tragedy was not called a uh, concerned citizen. Okay. That she would never so, remember the letter that Brain gets by concerned citizen? Or what he believed. <laughs> It's like it's based around that guy. That guy's not a real person. No, Gordon Froman. A concerned citizen. No, I'm pretty sure the letter is made up. I mean, it was heavily edited. Uh huh. Like, do you really think Breen actually has a suggestion box? Or, 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 or more to the point, do you think the suggestion box isn't a honeypot where, like, they trace down who puts the things in the things and then, like, kills them if it turns out they're subversive or takes them away to Nova Prospect or whatever? Well, the concerned citizen wasn't subversive. You have to understand. That's why he took the suggestion. Okay. Okay. Um... So now we take the door on the right? Yeah, I suppose so. He never functioned well by himself, and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Uh... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he et this was not the correct way to the employee lounge. And Stanley yeah, so the Stanley parable like planted like at the first open mm. door and walked back in the right direction. That that's not going to do anything. That's just going to get us back on track. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't. So we have three endings now? Maybe this is why yeah. everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as Green, him. red. And since he was walking into the middle of nowhere and was uh, really down the stairs, story, yeah. Stanley decided that he would punish himself. Um so when he came to the elevator and the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the button to go up. So we go up now. Now we go back to doing what the narrator wants us to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Off we go. Do do do. Do 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 do. It's very very slow elevator. That is pretty slow. Oh yeah. Uh, there's a glitch. You could sort of like you can sort of like push the button and then like leave. Right. The yes. They they actually made that in, into an ending in the um into the in the the thing. That's good. They might as well. I like the broom closet in that game. The broom closet is good. Oh no. These things. Get in. 
It's kind of amazing. Gordon Freeman just kind of like gets in one. I know. Almost perplexed Stanley that he had actually got <laughs> into this. Movie. It perplexed me too. It should have been no surprise that this thing would have Like couldn't have Gord couldn't have Gordon like got like a climbed on the back of it for ruining a perfectly good story. So he was Couldn't he have like willingly accepted his fate, the inevitable end toward which he had spent so long stumbling. Excellent. I thought I was being clever at this point when I first played it and I turned and I like set I cheated and put on god mode but that didn't change anything because of this. Farewell Stanley, cried the narrator as he sent his subject an extra level of meta. Yep. Metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. I wonder Squish. If, I wonder if this is like the ending that I should leave for last. This is a good ending. Hmm. Down the Half Life hole. in Half Life Alex, the like the combine walls were more I don't know. Less rusted for the narrator. Weren't they? Did he really think he would accomplish anything by murdering this disposable vessel? This is the museum ending, right? And the original, and the in the in the contemporary no, game. I mean, I guess this is a, this is the closest one to it, but there's no museum. The museum's pretty cool, though. Yeah, no. Every possible choice Stanley could make. Have you ever played Bioshock? Long before he ever. Say again. Have you ever played Bioshock? I have played all of the Bioshock. You mean Bioshock One and maybe Infinite? And two. What's wrong with Star Wars Shock 2? Bioshock 2 doesn't exist, Jeff. Why not? Because it's just There's no salvation for either of these two, I'm afraid. The narrator had as little power Bioshock 2 really did as not need to did. exist. But Why not? That he would. I mean, it's like you've left Rapture and it's like, "Oh, you want to play as one of the big daddies?" It's like, "No." You mean those horrible lumbering monstrosities? Like who who wanted who was asking for Bioshock 2? Bioshock 1 is Fine, except for its ending. Everyone wanted Bioshock 2. Okay, yes. Stop now and oh, and yeah, then you totally should have done this one last. Choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Oh, whoops. No, 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 you're supposed to quit the... <laughs> Fine. I reached over and pressed escape is why that happened, except I probably pressed tilde at the same time. Yeah, it's fine. So, so you're going to have to do something now. Press escape, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to. You press tilde. So. Let's get it. Yeah. No, like you were supposed to. You could at least quit to start a new game when. <laughs> no, that's fine. It's poignant. Yeah, so that ending is like. The narrator right there is part of this system just as much as you are. So here's the thing. The lady narrator? She's also a part of the system. Yeah, no, they're all part of the system. That's the that's that's the point. When you boot up a game, you are locked into a limited possibility space. Yeah, it's both mindset. One day we'll actually be able to make games with real AIs that will interact with you. No one wanted to be around. That is utterly terrifying. Like you remember you've read Celeste AI, right? Yeah, yeah. Stanley. Like friendship is optimal. That's what it's called. Himself. So when he came to the yeah, it's like opened, he stepped inside. Yes, it really jives with me because it makes ponies a lot more terrifying than they have any right to be. But like in that one, the game is totally decided uh, by your choices. You go down now. I go down now. I was I was blanking out. Oh, Stanley. <laughs> so yeah, go ahead. You really aren't going anywhere, and I don't say that deceitfully. I truthfully mean that there isn't a story down here. The story was back up where I told you to go in the first place. Right now, you're just running around <sighs> in empty halls. That's perhaps even more infuriating for me. So why don't you Having... give me a bone? Give me a chance and just let me tell the story. I yeah. Tell. What order you view the endings in? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's constructed so you can see them in any order. I mean, sure. But some... Yeah, okay. Now listen carefully. This is important. Ah, there we go. Only walked through the red door. No, we do what he says this time. 
Okay, here we are. Red door. Good, good. Now, if you don't mind, there's something I'd like to show you. But to do that, I think it would be best for us to start from the beginning. Very good place to start. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stan. Wait, what? That's just different. Yeah. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. His job pushing buttons demanded little of him. So oh, there was not much of him. The sending is dark. So Stanley's job felt less and less like his. So the idea is that they're is that, you know, they're kind of making fun of you for, like, pushing buttons on the keyboard for entertainment. I... Like, but, you know, playing video games is more complicated than that. It really is. Flowed into his ride home, flowed into dinner, flowed into waking up, flowed into... Like, I don't know, there's... Stanley was typing out a complete... There's something to be said about... Absolutely nothing at all. Okay. Look... I'm not going. Some games are more. Yikes. The opportunity to make a decision to choose which path go home to your to take. Yeah. So. Still have any meaning? Perhaps when we long. Have you like? Have you ever played a clicker game? Fantasies. Like a like cookie clicker. No. No. See, the thing is. I've played. I think. I've, if, I've, I think. No. I've, hear me out. I think everybody should. Like, oh, do you file your taxes because they're due really soon. If you haven't already. Might mean freedom from. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, you know how. Illusions can be fatal to those who can't tell the difference. And so Stanley asked, if that door never opened. If I'll never be able to walk oh, away from those people, I don't so have my should, earbuds in. I'm not yeah, listening so to that right now. Yeah, so you should play a, you should play a, you should, like no. everybody should play a clicker game, just so you can get an idea of how easily you are manipulated. Then he pushed a button. Like, and then he pushed a button. Then there are many, 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 many kinds of games you can make, and like, I can say that walking simulators are shitty, but people shouldn't stop making walking simulators. Because, you know, sometimes... They're not walking simulators. There's more to it than that. Wait, no, no. Hold on. How long have we been running? See, that's the thing. This one's going to be short unless you yep. start over from the beginning. Oh, don't worry. I have a, I have a plan. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, so um, what was I saying? You're going to keep going. He's gonna I test. still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley. Uh, I think this one is done a little better in the in the in yeah. the new one since like it's all since like that one is all like illuminated and stuff. And it has a bunch of arrows. Adding. All right, fine. Yeah. Go ahead, Stanley. Uh, the part with the telephone is also good since it's like it present since it like. Don't let me stop you. You see, it's nothing. No Sky one's box. even built this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. It's just a bunch of skybox and dev wall textures. That's it. Is this what you were looking for? Was it worth ruining the story I'd written out for you? Yes. I put a lot of time into that, and now you... Well, here you are now, just looking at nothing. Yes. To think that that's uh, all I need. So is that the light source? Place, just a whole Maybe. Nothing, and you would have been happy. Well, hey. You still need a little something to do. I guess it's like the light is coming out of there and it's pointing to that See corner over there. I don't know it's like, about how, how 3D works, but I think maybe. Like there are, like these three walls it's aren't illuminated design. and this, this like and it. this is uh, illuminated. Okay. <laughs> so is this where we go to Minecraft? No. What, why did it just say node graph out of date rebuilding? What is that? Oh. Is this any better? I don't know why. So you know, so you remembered that this is a Half-Life mod. Yes. So here we are. With you in mind, I wanted to make you a leading man. Like, if you were playing, like, if you were playing the Stanley Parable, you were definitely like familiar with this. In the remake, you know, they couldn't do this. They put you in Portal, I think. They put you in Half. Uh, they put you in Minecraft at some point. And they put you. In, they they definitely put you in Portal, right? I don't remember. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Dude, fuck you. Probably only got his job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That, or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. This is very petty. Dude, dude, that's beneath you. Just give me a gun. Let me shoot the combine. 
Well. Wow, you are just walking through this map the way it happens in the original game, except without any of the character interaction. It's a lot less. I spent so long talking about you. Why don't we just take a break from that? I can't even do the thing that the speedrunners do and like stack a according to like skillfully stack a bunch of bullshit onto this chair for entertainment. Eastern Brazil contain mercury concentrations higher than that considered safe by the local government. What? This is fascinating. Don't you want to know more about the night sharks? I don't know. I'm kind of curious. Well, I, then I'm pull not... up. Go pull up the Wikipedia article. Maybe right. we can like read that for sure. like. Oh, listen to me once. What's left Night of this inner, you know? Night sharks. Honestly, it's all right if we go a little short, but maybe I might fill in the time. A night shark is a, a species of requiem shark in the family. Uh, car, car. Oh, here you go. <sighs> is this the end of? Caracanada. I don't suppose this was a particularly fulfilling experience for you, considering not a single art aspect in this map was created with you in mind. Except for this. You're a creative kid. I bet you can come up with a story no. about this place and why you're in it. And while you're doing that, why don't I am the guardian of the gate. Too? Because you certainly won't find one here. I'm afraid Perfect. that's long and short of it. This room and these walls are all you get. Maybe the story ends when you decide you can't live. Man, there are a lot of words in here I do not understand. That, are they all in blue? Yeah. Okay, well, that's the... What is a DL vertical migration? Also known as a, <laughs> a diurnal vertical migration is a pattern of movement used by some organisms, such as co co copiopods living in oceans and lakes. What are copiopods? Copiopods, meaning or feet. Copiopods. You turned your back Are a... Copepods, yeah, you're right. Um, are a group of uh, small crustaceans found in nearly uh, 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 every freshwater and saltwater habitat. Some species are, are planktonic, inhabiting seawaters. Some are benthic, I just living on the ocean room. floor. Um, yeah, keep going. A number of species have parasitic phases, and some continental species may live in limnotestrial habitats. That one's not blue. Um, I'll, <laughs> so I'm not actually sure what limnotestrial means. And other wet terrestrial places, such as swamps under leaf fall and wet forests, bogs, springs, ephemeral well, ponds and puddles, damp moss or water filled recesses. And then there's a word blue in parentheses, which is uh, phy phy phyto phytotelmata of plants such as bromeliads. That one I actually know. Bromeliads are the really, really stinky ones. Hmm. What are you doing? <sighs> I should not. Keep going. Uh, and, and pitcher plants. Bromeliads are the stinky ones, right? Many live underground in marine and freshwater caves, sinkholes, or stream beds. Co 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 copepods are sometimes used as biodiversity indicators. Okay, so back to what we were doing. I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to jump down this hole. Wait. Hold on. What do you... What do you Keep going. Does a hole to jump down? Yeah, there was a hole to jump down. We I was distracted by Wikipedia. Yeah, no, the night sharks. They're fascinating things. Go into the light. So what is deal vertical immigration? Migration. Migra migration. Oh, it just starts you over. Does it start you over? Oh, so now we can just do whatever we want without the narrator? Jump. Can you jump? I cannot jump. I have not been given that freedom. Oh, remember in Portal okay. 2 where it says press space to say Apple? Uh, no, I mean, it's Portal 2 does... Wait, that's Portal 2? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Press space to say Apple and you jump. <laughs> That is, Wait, why are you following the story now? Do whatever you want. I am. Okay, fine. Uh, um, so D DL mo vertical migration, also known as diurnal mode of migration, is a pattern of movement used by some organisms, so, such as copepods, copepods, living in oceans and lakes. Migration occurs when organisms move to the uppermost layer of the sea at night and return to the bottom of the daylight <laughs> zone of the, of the oceans or to the dense bottom layers of lakes during the day. And yeah, DL comes from day. That makes sense. Um, so basically it's a migration of up and down and up and down. That's kind of neat. Yep. All of these textures are misaligned in the, yeah. Wait, what? No, we were we were looking around. We were having our own. <clears throat> we were having our own fun. Of course, they say it's the journey that truly matters and not the destination. And I like that idea. To think we might value the paths we walk as much as we do. They lead us. Now, I don't know what sort of story you've ciphered out of that world you've made for yourself. But I hope that being the leading man was everything it's cracked up to be. 
I know it can be a little hard getting around without someone looking over your shoulder, but this is simply the nature of freedom. Besides, I haven't really gone anywhere. Maybe you don't want a guide, but I think I'll always have a place here at the end of every story. I'll step in and wrap things up with a nice piece of dialogue and a reflection on life that makes sense of whatever path you've chosen to walk. And for now, I'm happy to be the destination instead of the journey. But only for now. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. So this is the Stanley parable. Yes. Um, <laughs> you're still, I, you're still I, on about this. I, I you must understand what deal vertical migration is. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so it does make me wonder, like, how many people actually opened the Wikipedia page on night sharks because of a this. lot of them. Obviously, a lot of them. Okay, hold on. What are you doing? I wanna, I wanna see something. Oh wait, hold on. What, 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 what are these commands? There we what? go. Perfect. He decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his programs. He never functioned well by himself. Oh, I, I can't. I can't actually do anything. <laughs> like, all of my commands are disabled. Okay. Never mind. You can do this in Portal too. It's great. You can, like, get all the Half-Life weapons, and you can just fucking shoot Gladys. Uh, okay. All right. Well, this one was short, but we hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Bye, everyone. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy the night. Uh, look up night sharks on your own. Um, and then read. Uh, do do the even problems in the book. Uh, for next class, on pages three through seven. Bye. All right. Yeah, I think that's. I think I've left you with everything I wanted to say, such as how to get all the half life weapons in the Stanley Parable mod. You could do that with basically every Half-Life mod. I'm aware.